Why, EA? Why? I had high hopes of opening my UCL plaque today, but instead of getting a Tevez or a Snyder or a Futre, I get Steve McManaman. At first, I was pretty disappointed, but then I realized he has technical playstyle plus, so I was like, why not make a review out of him? I'm sure lots of you guys who also had the pure to pack also packed this guy. I think he was one of the more common ones. And I'm sorry if I'm saying that and you get like Kanu and you wish you got McManaman. I apologize for that. I'm I'm happy with McManaman. Obviously, there's so much better, but there's so much worse as well. So I, I'm, I'm going to test him out today, see what we can do with him. I hope he's good. So let's get into the review. All right, so the custom tactics, let's get into those. I may be playing a basic 4-2-1-3 with Steve McManaman on the right. And these are going to be the instructions I play with him.
right, so that marks the end of this review. Nine goal contributions in four matches. Pretty decent. In fact, very good. Four star, four star, six foot, tons of alternate positions. His stats are good. Shooting, though, pretty poor, but he surprised me today with his finishes. The only real finishing I can complain on is when I shot timed and it was just horrible. His technical playstyle plus, insane. The other playstyles are decent and overall this is just a really good card for a card that i thought wasn't going to be that amazing he did surprise me now he, you could say he feels a little generic in some ways i don't think he's crazy but he's definitely good and if you did manage to pack him you should not be unhappy with this card i think you should be very happy like this card is definitely a lot better than like the likes of kanu or the likes of burbatel i feel i mean in, in, in the end it's all about having fun this card is definitely fun and he is somewhat meta now with the technical playstyle plus like before without any playstyle plus i wasn't that impressed with this card now i'm pretty impressed like again it's not an end game card it's not a game breaking card this card certainly will not be worth a ton on the market but when he is in packs and you guys want to buy him i wouldn't say that's a bad shout like i think it's a good card to buy so that's about it for the review thanks for watching